Hey guys, Asher from GustForward.com and in this video I'm going to be showing you how to flash a custom ROM onto your Macromax Canvas HD A116. So guys, the prerequisite here is that your Canvas HD A116 needs to be rooted and have uh, a custom recovery like Clockwork Mod recovery installed. So if you guys haven't uh, rooted your phones, the, le uh, the link to my video tutorial on how to root your Canvas HD and get Clockwork Mod recovery installed is in the description. So go ahead, click that, go ahead, root your phone and get back. So uh, this video is applicable to all custom ROMs. Uh, for demonstration purposes, in this, uh, in this video, I'll be flashing the Jelly Xperia ROM. Uh, so the Jelly Xperia ROM comes with two zip files. And again, the link to download uh, the Jelly Xperia ROM can be found in the de uh, description. So go ahead, download it and transfer it to the internal SD card. This does not work from the external SD you need to transfer the files to the internal SD. And uh, if it's any other ROM that you're flashing, again, most ROMs come in the form of a single zip file or maybe at times two zip files. So it doesn't matter, the procedure is going to be the same. Transfer the single or double zip files that you downloaded onto your internal memory and uh, proceed. So the first thing you do is hold the power button and hit power off. So guys, I've already uh, downloaded the Jelly Xperia ROM, both files and transferred it to uh, the internal SD so right now hold up and down volume and power button hold all three buttons at the same time all right so now just let me bring it in closer so there you see it says recovery mode volume up so hit volume up and that will take you to clockwork mode based recovery that CWM based recovery and uh, keep in mind that when you flash a new ROM all your data will be lost so go ahead back up whatever data that's uh, important to you before you do this so the first thing you do is do a wipe data factory reset hit yes delete all user data again uh, the volume buttons here act as navigation keys and the power button acts as the selection key so now scroll down again wipe cache partition hit yes wipe cache now that's done now scroll down select advanced and hit wipe Dalvik cache. Yes, wipe Dalvik cache. And now go back, select install zip from SD card, choose zip from SD card. And guys, over here, if you have just one zip file for your ROM, it's fine, just select the zip file. If you have multiple zip files, always make sure that you select the bigger zip file first. Say, for example, with the Jelly Xperia ROM, I've got a zip file, uh, Jelly Xperia v2.zip, that's about 300 odd MB. And then I've got the update 3.zip, that's about 7 MB. So I'm going to select the Jelly Xperia v2.zip uh, first. Select it, hit the power button, again yes install, hit the power button again. So this will take a few minutes to complete, so just wait for it to complete. And I'll be back with you guys once it's completed. So we're done guys, as you can see it says install from SD card complete. So now I've just now just select choose zip from SD card again and now select the second file in this case the update 3.zip and hit yes install so this will be over quick so once it's done hit go back and now go into advanced and hit fix permissions all right this is done now go back hit reboot system now so guys, the first time you reboot your phone after installing a new custom ROM, uh, it's going to take quite a bit longer than your normal uh, boot time. So if it takes a little bit longer, don't be worried. That is par for the course. That is to be expected. So don't be worried. Just wait for your phone to boot up. It will boot up in a few minutes. And if by chance you get caught in a boot loop, that is for about 5 to 10 minutes, your phone, at least 10 minutes, your phone doesn't boot and it's stuck on the boot screen, say, the same uh, animation keeps going on over and over. In that case, just pull the battery out, put it back in, and boot back to recovery the same way we did, and wipe factory, uh, do the three wipes again, wipe, wipe factory data, uh, wipe cache, and advanced wipe Dalvik cache, and that will get your phone booted back up in, in most cases. So don't worry guys, you're covered. Uh, your phone will boot up fine so just give it a few minutes and i'll be back with you guys once the phone boot uh boots back up all right guys we are back up here so just hitting the start button let me quickly get through setup
So guys, in most cases, this is all you need to do. You get through setup, uh, your ROM is installed, your that's pretty much it. But for the Jelly Xperia ROM, we've got one extra step, so I'll just show you what needs to be done. But if there's any other ROM you're installing, most cases, that's pretty much it, you're done. So, and if you're done, just before you go, make sure you hit the like and subscribe button, just don't forget that. So just, mm, just wait for the uh, setup to be completed. And I'll show you what needs to be done for the Jelly Xperia ROM. So again, while we are waiting at the welcome screen, if you haven't already hit the like and subscribe buttons, do it. Yeah, the like button's right down and the uh, subscribe button's up, I guess. All right, we're done. So hitting skip, skip again, just running through setup, no, not enough. Next, next, uh, next, done, next and finish. So here we are, the Sony Xperia ROM, the Jelly Xperia ROM actually, so that's that. That's the Xperia Z widgets. So guys, the first thing you do is quickly go into settings, uh, go into apps, go to all apps and open up album. And if you have a clear, a clear cache, or clear data option here, just tap it, clear data and clear cache. Uh, if it's deactivated if, deactivated, if it's grayed out, don't worry about it. Now scroll down to X. Oops, sorry about that. And you have Xperia Home, tap it and hit clear data. And that's it. You're all set. So that's pretty much it guys for installing a custom ROM onto your Micromax Canvas HD A116. If you guys have any questions or if you run into any issues, feel free to hit us up at cursefarber.com slash forums. And before you go, make sure you hit the like and subscribe buttons. So that's pretty much it. Thanks a lot for watching. Ash here from cursefarber.com signing off. And uh, if you guys have any video requests for me, if there's any video or any comparison that you'd like to see, you can hit me up on Facebook or Twitter or Google Plus and let me know again all contact details in, this, in the description. So that's it for now. Thanks a lot for watching again. You guys have a great day. Ashia signing off. Bye bye now.